open and you use the jewelry to sew on to, to different things. And that also mixed the, the front of the jacket. It came with just a boring old black button. What we want to do here to change the look of it is I want to now add, oh before I do that, another broken earring trick. Keep all the broken earrings. A little piece of black velvet ribbon. Everyone should have nice black uh, velvet ribbon or red ribbon in your kit. Made a little bow. Because if someone's looking at the front of you and they're loving what they see, they're going to be looking at the back of you when you walk away. So they need to love what they see when you leave as well. So I put a little broken earring onto the black ribbon, like such. I'm leaving this a pretty thing. And what I want to do is pin it to the back of the jacket. So now the jacket becomes stylish if she was nipped and tucked, like I would actually pinch that in and put some darts in because it's the small of a woman's back. If we all have it, yet when they make the stuff in China or wherever they make it, it's not one mannequin that does sort of one size fits all but doesn't really work. So most times we're going to have to tighten in here with some darts to give us a, a weight again. And then I would tack this on. So if I was happy with that, I'd stitch it on and you can make a really nice bow. Now what I'm going to do, it's cold, we're in Sydney, let's be stylish, let's be warm. Let's do what our foremothers did and use collars and cuffs. Collars and cuffs were buttoned on, hook and eyed on, or they were um, stitched on lightly, press studded, and they were able to be removed and put onto other outfits and such. So look how this one outfit is transformed by adding a nice little collar We're separating it from the bottom, creating 